Welcome back students. Let's understand some more things related to light. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about the speed of light and the color of different objects that we see all around us. So let's start. The speed of light is around to be 3 lakh kilometers per second. In an exact number, you can say it is 2 lakh 99,792 kilometers per second. This speed of light is in vacuum. But as it goes for any transparent or translucent object, then its speed decreases, which is related to its optical density. We will understand about the optical density of a material when we will discuss about a term called refraction of light, which is related to the change in the speed of light for a given medium. But now I want to discuss about a term called light year. I hope you all know about it. Light year is a unit which we use to measure the distance between two heavenly bodies. It is the distance traveled by light in a whole year. Such as the distance between the earth and the sun can be said to be as 8 light minutes. It means the light from the sun takes around 8 minutes to reach on the earth's surface. With the speed of light, if you travel around the earth, then you can go around the earth for 8 times in just 1 second. Due to the speed of light only, you can see the lightning before you can hear the sound of thunder. Now let's understand the concept of color. The white light ray which we used to see, it is consist of seven different colors. It is the part of the white electromagnetic spectrum. Out of that, we are only able to see the white color, which is actually a combination of seven different colors. Out of those seven colors, we can classify the colors as primary and secondary colors on the basis of our own sight. Our eyes can only recognize mainly red, green and blue color. So they are called as the primary colors. Whereas by the combination of these primary colors, we used to obtain some secondary colors as magenta, yellow and crayon. And when all these colors combine together, then we see the visible light, which is white in color. Here you can see indigo is not mentioned. Why it is so? It is because indigo is a part of blue color. We don't able to see the indigo color of the seven colors. The additive and subtractive property of colors. It is actually the combination of different colors. When we combine the primary or secondary colors with each other, then we can get different shades of color. This principle been used by painters or artists to create different shades in the color and they can create a different form of pattern with mixing primary or secondary color with each other. Now let's understand the concept of color of an object. If an object is transparent or translucent, then the color of the object is the light which been transmitted through it. Means, if you see a light under a red film, it will appear to be red in color. If you see the light under a green film, it will appear to be green in color. Why it is so? Because out of all the seven colors, only that particular color can be emitted out from that body which makes you able to identify the color of light in that particular specific form. But when we see for any opaque object, then it works in a little different way. Say as for example, you see this apple under a white light. Then you will find that the surface of the apple appears to be red in color and the leaves over here will appear to be green in color. Why it is so? Because out of all the seven colors, the red color been bounced back from the surface of the apple, whereas all other colors been absorbed by the apple. On the other hand, through the leaves, only the green light been reflected back and all other colors been absorbed by it. If you see the same red apple under a red light, what will happen? You will see the apple appears to be red in color because it bounces back the red color. But the greens, green surface of the leaf will appear to be black in color or dark in color. Why it is so? Because the leaf was green in color actually and it had absorbed all the red color which came from the source. 
Therefore, no light been reflected back and you will not be able to identify it with a certain color. So it will seems to be dark in color means black. But if you take the same apple under green light, then what will happen? Then you will see the apple will appear to be black in color because it will absorb the green color. But on the other hand, you will see the leaves are in green color. Why? Because the green color been reflected back from its surface. But if you take the same apple under a blue light, then what will happen? Then the whole apple will seems to be or appear to be dark in color. Why is so? It is because the leaf as well as the apple had absorbed all the blue light. Let's understand the concept of color with this example. Here you can see that there are different objects with different color. Here you can see that it is a blue object. It is a red object. Why we appear or the object appear to be blue in color or red in color because when the body been placed under all the light rays means white light ray then only a specific color gets bounced back and the specific color which gets bounced back and reaches to your eye it makes you appear to see that object in that particular color in the same way you can see for any objects color at any place but if you see the object with a certain or a specific color then what will happen then the object will appear to be in that particular color say as for example here this object was white in color but as this object been seen under red color of light thus it will appear to be red in color to you but it is actually or it was actually white in color but if the object is dark or black then what happens then it actually absorbs all the light rays and when it absorbs all the light rays no light ray can bounce back through it it creates an appearance of darkness and the darkness or the dark appearance gives us the color of black i hope you had understood the concept of light as well as the concept of color with respect to light 